So we're seeing like a mini streak in the markets, the Nasdaq and the S&P coming off a two day win streak. Now futures in the red. What do you think is causing this at least pre-market weakness? What are you expecting coming up? Yeah, I mean, Oracle's weighing on NASDAQ, and yesterday was such a tech-driven rally, mostly a Tesla-driven rally, to be honest with you. And so I think you're, you're kind of seeing this push-pull of can the mega caps pull the market forward through year-end, or are we seeing this AI theme stall out a little bit? And it's a little hard for the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ to rally without the mega caps really working there. And so I think you need to be looking around at, at what's going to work going on in the back half of the year. Is this AI looking a little frothish, or do we think we can continue to see growth from these AI-focused companies to, like a video or even like an oracle like we saw yesterday just a, a little disappointment to the street after hours when they reported yeah a lot of today's narrative is certainly around tech uh just in general so just looking ahead to the day ahead what is your wex word of the day well, I kind of cheated. It's two words, technically. My word of the day is Green Day, that 90s, 2000s alt-rock emu band. But their song is just perfect for the market right now. Wake me up when September ends. It's just an absolute euphemism. We don't think this market's going anywhere in September. Historically, a weak seasonal period. And we're seeing it play out here with August and September, kind of just doing the status quo of what August and September historically do. So yeah, wake me up when this is all over. We'll get back to work in October. All right, I also want to talk to you about bonds. We're talking a lot about equities, but what about bonds? We've got some new comments from Newberger Berman pointing to the high yield market as a canary in the coal mine for broader market volatility. Newberger adding, uh, high yield is a beneficiary of the resilient U.S. economy and financial liquidity. What's your thoughts? I do think uh, high yield spreads are compressed and just not as attractive as you want to be at, at this point in the market. I don't mind taking a little duration. I think we are hitting a little bit of this end of the hiking cycle. We might have one. You know, everybody's a little worried about higher for longer. But you do want to start locking in some of these rates. Yes, the front end's been super attractive. Six months and below, you're getting that great rate, five and a half, five and five point six area. But then you really need to be looking at extending that duration out, or you face this reinvestment risk. And the markets are very, always anticipating where rates are going to go and they're anticipating rate cuts starting next year so you might want to start looking up duration over credit right now i think it's a little risky to trace too much into senior loans or high yield or some of those higher yielding parts of the market because it's just not attractive versus what you can get a little more risk free or in, in, uh, investment grade corporates all right so i want to come full circle we start off talking tech let's also go back to tech it's most of your picks are in the tech space so one of them yeah. is actually one of the stocks that's taking a dive right now oracle why are you feeling yes. bullish on oracle it's about the future. They would have gone from infrastructure and kind of database on premise and then rotating to the cloud. And if you look at the adoption rates from Azure and AWS and Google Cloud, Oracle is following the same adoption rate. So we think they're going to be able to compete more and more with the uh, with the hyperscalers in the crowd space. Obviously, AWS and Azure have the massive part of that market share, but they're very successfully right. transitioning clients from their kind of infrastructure on premise to the cloud. And we see that as a, a good growth aspect for them. Oracle's been stuck the last couple of years okay. on actually getting revenue growth but it's there now and ai they said right. they booked four billion